It is the next morning and we have our door hanger breakfast room service that we ordered. This looks good, this looks perfect. I'm very thankful for it because now we don't even have to leave our room until yeah. we will go to Perfect Day at Coco Key. Yeah, we're pulling into Coco Key right now. There's some interesting fog. Do you yeah. see that? So this island is actually um, NCL's private island which is, I think, called like Grand Stirrup Key or something like that. I was confused. Um, and then there's an NCL ship right there. But um, we, yeah, we're like kind of turning around back into Coco Key right now. So anyway, so. Food time. Welcome to day two. We just got off the ship. Um, we are doing an official Royal Caribbean excursion today, which is called Swimming with Pigs. Um, we really have no idea what this is going to be. I think there will be some pigs there. Yeah, uh, and not just us. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited for it. Um, we'll see what this is all about. It says we have to go to kayak station. Yeah, so. I'm intrigued because it's like a different island that we're going to. So I don't know how we're going to yeah. get there. We made our way over to this building that says Shore Excursions. It's near the restaurant over there. This is probably like an eight minute walk to get here. Yeah, we might be slightly late. Yeah, we, we're like two minutes late. I don't think it'll be a problem, but if it is, I'm sorry. We found it. This building says swimming with pigs. I guess we just wait in line here and see. Oh wow, I didn't even see that. Yeah. I literally like went over there and felt stupid. No, okay. I'm almost wondering if we're gonna kayak ourselves there. I hope that there's a tandem then, because I don't know how to kayak. The only thing we've kind of heard about this pig's tour from the internet is that there are droplings from the pigs. Um, pig presence? Pig presence on the ground. Therefore, we have, uh, Water done, shoes. Done the recommended, yeah, water shoes. Thank you. It's so, too early for me to talk. Yeah, your water shoes have like a, a cheetah print. Yeah, I don't know. So they're going to be scared of you because that's a natural predator of them. Right. And that was done on purpose. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we have, we don't know what's happening. We don't know what this is really going to be. Yeah, we don't see any sort of like boat or ferry no. or anything. I mean, we know for sure it's on a different island, but um, there's a lot of people here for this pig Because tour. it's pigs. So we're pig. People want to pig out. <laughs> we have two ships here for the pigs. Forget oh, there's it. two? I only saw one. We have two ships docked at Co... Co... I almost said Castaway Key. <laughs> we have two ships docked at Castaway Key. Wait, what is the Celebrity Infinity doing here? Are you kidding me? How does that work? Like... Whoa, I wonder if there's some sort of, like, emergency or something. I, don't, I didn't think that three ships could, um... No, I to dock here. I don't think they can. I think they're tendering. I didn't know a celebrity would come to Coco Key. This is very interesting. Anyway, I was saying we have two ships at Coco... Co Why do I keep wanting to say Castaway Key? I don't know. Okay, we have two ships at Coco Key, Independence and Freedom. And we have people from both ships on our tour. So we're getting on these little boats here. There's like four boats, all for pigs. That's crazy. Wait, okay, no, there's five boats. We're going to the, the cool one. We Ours has a roof. I think we might be going to that island right over there. That'd be cool. What did they tell us about that island uh, when we were in the balloon? Well, that that might be that. I don't think that's the NCL island. I think it's no, different. Think you can tell that the celebrity thing is tendering. Or like it's not dock. Yeah, we can't see it right now because the cabanas. But it's not the same dock as ours. You can kind of see freedom on the left there and then the celebrity. What, what was it? Infinity? It might be leaving at this point. I don't know. I'm very confused about what it was doing. And it's very important. It is. It's been a five minute boat ride, which is pretty short. You can, you can kind of see Coco Key back there. We're not very far. And we saw some pigs. And we saw some pigs. There's the pigs. Okay, that one's huge over there. Oh my god. So I think they're going to give us an orientation or something first. How to interact with the pigs. I love that one. It's curly tail. So they have like, a, it's like a fenced off area. So we just learned all about this island yep. and- um, Pig safety. And why did I think the pigs would be wild? <laughs> I don't know why. I don't I know, I kind of thought that too. Yeah, but um, uh, we can't bring our camera- Onto the beach. We can't bring any camera onto the beach because um, they take photos. Yeah. But we can film over here. Right. And I do want to point out, um, this is the reason to bring water shoes. And they did say like it is good to bring shoes. Yeah. But yeah, you can like touch the pigs, pet the pigs. Um, they're taking photos down there. There's like mama and papa pig and then baby pigs. They said there's 25 babies. They're very cute. They're like dogs. Yeah.
We walked over to the beach and waited in line for two of the photo ops. Here are the great photos they took for us. Then we walked back up to the waiting area. So essentially um, what this is, is you line up for like different photo ops. Yeah, they have three stations. I thought it was like gonna be like more of- A free for all. Yeah, I, I thought it was gonna be like a free for all and like there's just wild pigs, but it's really just like a photo op. And you can't bring your camera, they wanna like, you know- They, they wanna want charge your, you. They wanna charge you for photos. Um, I like this pig that's just scratching his butt. There is like pig poop everywhere. Yeah, I'm very glad that we had this. Yeah, Even if there wasn't pig poop, there was like rocks on the beach, so it's good to have. Yeah, but yeah, it's just it's just essentially three photo ops. Like, I would have come prettier. <laughs> like, I would have like put on makeup if I knew it was like a photo op. But we can see um, Coco Key over here. I think we might be on NCL's island. I'm not really sure. Is I don't that, think so. They said it's Treasure Island, so I don't know. We'll look it up when we get back. I want to see these pigs. Yeah, there's some pigs in um, the area where we can film. Look at this guy, like, scratching his butt. Oh my god, that's funny. Hi, Penny. I can help you scratch that. <laughs> this is kind of cool. So this excursion was $100 per person. Okay. Seems kind of high. Yeah, I feel... Not, not to be negative, but I don't think I would recommend this. Yeah, I think what they should have done is charged us more and then allowed us to just free-for-all with the pigs, bring our own cameras, do our own thing, yeah. instead of, like, charging us for the picture. Yeah. That's all. No, it, it's literally like... I love the pigs. It's three lines for three photos. Yeah. I wish I had more one-on-one -on -one time with the pigs. Yeah. You know what I thought it was going to be? I thought it was going to be like Stingray City, where you can kind of just like swim around yeah. and there's stingrays. I thought it was going to be like that, but with pigs, but... For sure. Once the um, they're done with the photos, there's a little barbecue place over there. They're doing um, ri like pork ribs and... Um, Bacon. Bacon. Yeah, and that's all included. You can, you know, do the barbecue for free. Um, they, they, this is a funny thing he's saying. <laughs> there were 30 pigs when we got here, and now there's 25. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's not true. There's no food or anything. But when we get back to the perfect day, oh, will we be eating there. bacon? We will be eating the chicken sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> we took the boat back. Another five-minute ride back to Coco Key. We actually did drive around uh, the entire island, and it's not connected to Norwegian's island. Anyway, we were there for like an hour, um, and like... Hearing other people around us, other guests. Um, they loved it. People really liked it, so maybe it's just us. Yeah, I, I think know. we need to clarify. Like, when we go to Disney, we are not the people that, like, stand in line to meet Mickey. And a bunch of people stand in line to meet Mickey. And yeah. I think that's just, like, the photo ops just aren't for us. But I yeah. think that they are for others. Yeah. Um, it doesn't get my highly sought-after recommendation. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you... If what you saw in this video interested you, then you know. Go for it. Yeah. What's now, up next? Now we gotta go get. We gotta go to the snack shack, and you know, get that chicken sandwich. Yeah, I want mozzarella sticks. Looking at all those pigs made me hungry. <laughs> right near um, the dock where we just got off is the snack shack here. Thank goodness. Honestly, my favorite thing at Coco Key. So here's the snack shack. Of course, this is included. Also, they have a um, hand washing station outside, which I think is really cool. Especially when you have pig poop on your hands. <laughs> I don't actually, I just like touched our shoes, which may or may not have touched pig poop. Well, and you touched the pig too. I did touch the pig, and they probably have some amount of feces. Oh god. So, um, something a little confusing is they have the shack crispy chicken sandwich and the crispy chicken sandwich. Get gotta, the shack get one. The it's got all the accoutrements. It makes it so much better. Yeah. Paradise. <laughs> it's here. Here we go. Oh, it looks so good. It does. Okay, here's what I do to, to change my sandwich, though. Oh, no, I keep that on. I will have um, this version of tomato, though, because that makes sense. Oh, for your mozzarella sticks. Yeah. <laughs> I literally have been like, when I think about like the cruise and getting excited for the cruise, I'm just thinking about the sandwich most of the time. Okay, we need to relax after that meal at Oasis Lagoon. That's my favorite place to go. I feel like I like the pool the yeah. best. They have bean bags in the grass. That's cool. We haven't seen that before. Look, there's a chicken with like baby chicks. Oh my god. There they go. Oh my god. And we came to Captain Jack's, which is one of the bars over here, and we got the famous Coco Loco. 
which people always talk about. Yeah, I think um, orange juice, pineapple juice, papaya juice, um, grenadine, something else. But obviously no alcohol for us because that's uh, how we live our yeah, lives. We learned that you can get it without alcohol. Mm -hmm. And um, this is actually, they call this the Lava Doozy when you're in Lava D. And it's the same drink, it's just a different name. I think that's funny because I always thought they were different. Yeah, how is it? It's good. I like it. We're heading back to the ship. We got Freedom on the right, Independence on the left, Sister Ships. Yeah. You can see the difference between the Freedom's blue hull and the Independence white hull. Also, I just noticed that Independence has the sky pad up there, and Freedom does not have the sky pad. You can kind of see the cabanas on Freedom, which also differentiate yeah. the pool deck. Um, from one another. I like those. Yeah. Now it's time in the video for me to drop some knowledge. So, as you can see, it says Freedom of the Seas, Nassau, and there's also the Bahamas flag. I'm waiting for the knowledge. <laughs> um, so, um, even though like Royal Caribbean is like a company based in Miami, the ships aren't registered in the United States um, because they. Um, labor laws because of labor laws and like and like tax reasons they use what they call a flag of convenience and so they register the ships in the bahamas instead of america so that you know they have more lax taxes and labor laws and now i'm gonna drop a bonus knowledge fact wow. so that flag of the bahamas there so the normal flag bohemian flag is just the one with the blue you can see like the blue and the black and the yellow. Maybe show this one. It's my yeah, maybe this one's easier to see. So that's the normal flag of the Bahamas, right? So because this flag is on a ship, they have this variant of the flag with the red and like the normal Bahamas flag is in the corner there. I did not know that. So that's new knowledge for me. So yeah, I think we're going to get back on board and check out the water slides, probably lay around the pool deck. Maybe we need a snack. Who knows? We probably definitely need a snack. Okay, we made it to the water slides. Here's something crazy. So we're looking out. This is the after the ship. Look at the low tide over here. That's insane. I've never seen like the tide that low here. That's crazy. Okay, let's go do those slides. Yeah. You forgot your sunglasses. Oh, I'm literally blind right now. <laughs> sunglasses are always a must on a ship. They're mandatory. They really are. And we can't bring the camera on the water slides, but the yellow one is really fast and it's really cool because there's a clear part. I think it's like that part right there. You can like see Coco Key. So like I could totally see it when I was in that part, which is really cool. That is cool. I like was going too fast to like even look. But what I learned is that the two slides have different weight limits. Yeah. And so I think Brian went on one that had um, a two It was 220, 20, weight limit of 220. And I went on one with a weight limit of 250 because that makes sense for the two of us. I chose the 221 because I was like, well, if this is a lower weight limit, it probably means I'll go faster. And it seems like it works. Yeah. I can't believe the sandbar. Like, that, it's like completely dry land, it's like right crazy. there. It's like a whole marsh. Like, I'm, I remember a few cruises ago, we were trying to like, go out during low tide. If we went out during that, that would have been insane. Yeah, we could literally walk to Great Strip. I wouldn't have like been bitten by um, the, jellyfish. the jellyfish if it was that low. Yeah. Okay, I promise this is the last time I'm gonna talk about flags on this cruise. And information, <laughs> information, they just want flags. Okay, uh, no more knowledge or flags. That's it, it's all over. We're about to go sit down at our chairs and I noticed that's the Bahamas flag I was talking about before. That's like the normal variant. Okay, I'm done with flags and facts. Let's go get a seat in one of the soft chairs by the solarium. All that laying around and doing nothing made me really hungry. Of course. And uh, so now we're gonna check out one of our favorite places, Playmakers here. We've been here on other ships. Haven't been here on this ship yet. We haven't tried their wings yet and I wanna try their wings. Yeah. So obviously this is like a sports bar with good food. Oh, and there's a hole up to the promenade. That's cool. Yeah, that's how the other one was too. Yeah. Do they have board games on the table? That's really fun. Can you play snakes and ladders with two people? I don't know. But yeah, they have like pool and a lot of TVs. I think foosball down there. Some arcade games. Like, um, what's the thing where you throw the, oh, ski, uh, is it ski ball? Is that what it is? Keep up. The thing that you broke on one of the other ships? Oh yeah, that one. <laughs> oh, they have chess too. If only we knew how to play. I know how to play. Oh, I don't. 
this is our table. We, got we to took a long time to <laughs> pick out our table. We literally looked across the whole restaurant, but we're gonna do this one because it's cool. Okay, and this is what we need. Pig wings, hey pig. Wow. I love eating pig. Me too. Pig wings are here. My question is what sauce and what does this mean? Oh, that's like the spice level? Yeah, how many times do you want to set them on the fire? Not a lot. What is a pig wing? What is that? I don't know, are they saying it's made out of pork? It's impossible. When pigs fly, they can make it. Okay, this is crazy, I didn't know this. The casino is open and running, even though we are still at Coco Key. I think I read in a couple of the Facebook groups that Royal has some sort of deal with the Bahamas that when they're docked at Perfect Day, that they can have that and maybe the shops too open. Wow, I didn't know that. It was just like a rumor that I had heard. Yeah, that's totally new to me. And I just looked at the hours and it said it opened at eight, so that's yeah. crazy. We got our stuff. We got the nachos and the lowest level of the buffalo wings. Literally. Pig wings. I guarantee it's not pig. I, it, it's but it's funny after the excursion that we yeah. had today. Yeah, it's crazy. I am a baby when it comes to spice. And these Little League buffalo sauce spiced wings are like really spicy. Still too spicy for you. I I like ran out of my drink and had to steal Brian's because of how spicy they are. They weren't too spicy for me, but they were spicy. Okay. But very messy. I might be a baby, but yeah. We went through a couple now. Like this table's destroyed. <laughs> let's get out of here. Okay, yeah, let's cover up our tracks. After our food extravaganza, we, you know, needed to chill out a little bit, lounge out on our balcony here. Um, but I've come up with a question for you. Uh-oh, okay. Um, so we've done a couple of excursions now at Perfect Day at Coco oh. Key. And I want us to rank them. And I think we have different answers. I need like a piece of paper. Here's what I need you to do. Go inside. Okay. Get a piece of paper. Okay. We'll write down each excursion that we've yeah. done. And then we can put like a Carrie answer and a Brian answer. And then we'll do top to bottom. Okay. I will do Can that. you find that much paper? We'll find out after the break. We found some paper. And um, for me, the best thing to do on the island that we've done so far is the water park. Then I enjoyed the zip line. I found that very thrilling and fun. Um, then the snorkeling. I think that was a big surprise for me. I wasn't expecting much from that, but I enjoyed it a lot. Um, then the up, up, and away balloon. I think I have it kind of later on the list, mostly because I was a little afraid of it. Um, and then we have swimming with the pigs, which I felt was kind of just like a photo opportunity, and I wanted to just like hang out with pigs, and I, it wasn't, it wasn't what I thought it was. Yeah. Um, we still have to do jet skis, kayaking, the beach club, and like there's various different types of cabanas that you can rent throughout the island. So like we, that's not included in this list. What did Brian think? I'm gonna go backwards mm. because. That way it builds suspense, even though you've probably already read like this. zoomed in on the paper, um, yeah. Cause yeah, you gotta go from worst to best. Worst, pigs, I'm sorry. <laughs> and you know why? I think it's because I literally thought it would be an island and it's just freestyle. There's there's pigs, wild pigs, it, it just wasn't. I did think they would be wild pigs, yeah. It was just an expectation thing, I think. Mm -hmm. Yep. Number four, snorkeling. I gave this one number four because it was very hard to swim. It was. We're probably just weak. Yeah. But it it was a it was a workout. Like, Going out was fine. Coming back it, in was hard. It was it, like the currents were intense. I did kind of think for a second maybe I'll drown out here. <laughs> <laughs> I would have saved you. I know. Three zipline zipline's really cool. It is. It's like it's expensive. It was it, expensive for what it is. I enjoy it a lot, but honestly, everything on Coco Key is expensive. That's true. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But the zipline was really cool. It was number two water park. Water park is good. It is good. Um, I think that's the best bang for your buck. I think so, but to me, I didn't rank it number one because I don't know. Like we go to a lot of water parks at home. We do live in Orlando, yeah. and that there's one, two, three, four really great water parks in our area, so it is hard yeah. to compare to those. Yeah. Number one for me is the balloon, because the views... And queues. No, and no queues. Actually, there will be a queue, but the views from the balloon, amazing. Yeah. 
Like the, I, I agree. I was just scared. And it, it but because it, it's it's very thrilling. Yeah. Like even though it's just like a slow balloon right up, it is thrilling because it's scary. It was scary. But the the pictures you can take from in there from up there are insane. It is. Yeah. yeah. I think I, the only one that I don't recommend is the pigs. <laughs> I would agree with that. <laughs> Uh, on our next cruise, um, when we the next time we come back to Coco Key, we're gonna do the Beach Club, and I'm really excited about that. I definitely want to try that out. I think especially after today, yeah. um, like Oasis Lagoon was much more crowded than we've ever seen it today, mm-hmm. and so I'm excited to see um, like what the other pool looks like. I'm excited for the food. Yeah. But um, but um, like how I met your mother. But, yeah, um, but um. Um, <laughs> we're still at Coco Key. We're gonna be pulling away any moment now. Here's why I think we're still here. They keep calling on the overhead, like so-and-so person from deck six, like come down to guest services. And I think that this person like checked out to go on perfect day. And I don't think they checked back in. And I think they're kind of like, is this person on board or are they not? And I think that that's why we're still here. That's my thought. Okay, where would they be? They'd be on the island. Where? I don't know, hiding in the snack shack. That's where I would be. Or the pigs got got them. Literally, the tour guide on the pig thing said a pig, like one of the pigs bit off his finger. Yeah, he was like, don't put your fingers near their mouth because then this will happen. But and then like one of his fingers was gone. And like it was actually gone. Happen. He wasn't like doing like Do we this know type of thing. He could have been. No, he was like he wasn't doing a trick. Like no, I I did like, check at one point when he uh, like wasn't making an announcement to us and I saw his pinky yeah. was cut in half. But like, how would a pig do that? I don't believe it. Look, but some of them were big boys and Very girls. Nice. It was funny hearing them like squeal. Oh, there's the horn. The pigs were cute. I just wanted to like hang out with them. All they wanted was apples from the guys. Well, it, it's, ca- it's called swimming with pigs. And there wasn't really swimming. Yeah, you just got in the water, got your picture taken, and got out. But then also, the pigs were pooping in the water, and it made me concerned. I just wish we could have brought our camera onto the beach. Yeah, I think maybe that's why we don't like it so much. I don't know. No, I don't know, though. It's hard. It's, yeah. So, like, the captain just made an announcement, because we're about to leave, and, like, they normally do that. And But it's, like, kind of hard to hear him over the speaker. He said his name was Captain Gus. I feel like that's fate. But I don't know if we're like not hearing it correctly. No, he's said it a couple times now. He okay. is Captain Gus. So that's cool. But unfortunately, Captain Gus has not instructed his crew to make Gus's for us. Because not yet. Night not one. Yet. Night one. Don't expect much on night one. <laughs> They're busy. It's turn around. Right, 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 right. But sometimes, if you're lucky. Captain Gus can make magic happen. What's interesting about this room is that um, the light switch for the bathroom is on the outside and Brian's showering. I'm not gonna give you what you want, which is a reaction. Okay, we found a shuffleboard court on deck four. Um, for those who remember Allure of the Seas when we played shuffleboard and I convinced Brian that <laughs> off just meant it's off the board. Well, this lovely shuffleboard rules uh, tells us that any puck in the 10 off section equals negative 10. We didn't yeah. have these rules on Allure. Yeah, so I was able to like lawyer my way like, out of it. Okay, but you didn't know. You didn't do it on purpose. Um, okay, wait. <laughs> wait, or did you? I didn't know, but I I thought you were right, and I tried to oh convince my, Are you kidding me? I lost the lunch because of that. I'm very conniving. Oh my god. See, like, so her puck landed like in here, and so it, that would have, if we played by the rules, I would have won. That's horrible. Do you still love me? Yes. Are you thinking about it? No. <laughs> I'll play fairly this time. Wait, we have to play. Look, for okay, but the, this one actually says ten off. Oh, you're right. The other yeah, one just yeah. said off. Yeah. Okay. So who knows? Okay, let's play for something. Let's make it interesting. Okay. Um, Loser has to jump in the water. Uh, into the ocean. Okay. Um, winner picks some itinerary for tomorrow, like something that we do, like maybe the first thing after breakfast. The winner picks. Okay. okay, yeah, yeah. Does that work? Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll just do one round. One round. Yeah. Winner takes all. Yeah. Okay, you go first. Okay, seems slippery. 
<laughs> yeah, it is slippery. Okay. Slippery when wet. So I went first, so that's a disadvantage. That's why I had you go first. <laughs> Wait, you need really? to start learning when I'm tricking you. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, so okay. too too much. Okay, that was good. I got a solid seven. Okay, that nice. was not good. And I already know what I'm gonna pick for tomorrow. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna go in the water. I'm gonna wait because I, there's, I'm not good, so I could hit someone. They trip, they fall in. Exactly. <laughs> Is that allowed though? Are you allowed yeah, to do that? You can play defense. Are you for you real? Check the thing, but. Okay, I, I think you won. Like there's Unless I get 10 off. I think my parents play it. Um, that like if it's touching the white line, it doesn't count. Okay, so that doesn't count. If you're playing by my parents. Let's check the rules. Okay. Um, rule number B, <laughs> all pucks touching white lines equals zero. Okay, do you want to play by that? Yeah, because I want to pick what we do. Okay. <laughs> There's some sort of land mass over there. Don't yeah, what is it. that? But we are on our way to NASA. I don't know if we mentioned that. Oh yeah. Guess what we're doing? <laughs> Nothing. That's what we decided for a three night cruise. You do an excursion one day and then the next day you stay on the ship. Except our next three night cruise, we're doing one on each oh, day. Oh yeah, whoops, I forgot about that. <laughs> so we can't even follow our own advice. Okay, I'm gonna do my last uh, throw for this round. Things are looking very promising for me at this yeah, point. So far, it's looking like Brian's winning, but we know that two of them are touching a white line. Well, we don't know that. Okay, okay. Tell me if that's seven and is in. I will tell you, okay, so right now my only valid point is this one, which is seven, so. That is in? That It's in, yeah. Okay, so I have to beat that. Okay, I'm in the danger zone. I might get hit. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, I already know what I want to do tomorrow. What do you want to do? I want to force you to do mini golf. Ah. <laughs> Why do you hate it? I, Because I wanted to do morning trivia. We could do both. We can? Yeah. Aww. Even though I lost? Yeah, but that because that's the only way I'll get you to play mini golf. Yeah, I'll play mini golf if we can do morning trivia. Okay. <laughs> it's funny how much I hate mini golf. Because I, I like mini golf on land. I know. Yeah. It's because it's not real mini golf. It's like the edges are wrong. It might be different, we don't know. We don't know. We have to take the stairs. <laughs> We're taking the stairs and that's a big workout for Carrie. Yeah, and the reason why we're doing that is because the ship is more crowded than it has been and yeah. the elevators are more crowded and, and the stairs are hard. Earlier we did the stairs and I had my pizza in my hand. Yeah, you were literally eating pizza it while walking so up the stairs. Hard. You were out of breath, but still eating pizza while walking up the stairs. It's, it's so hard to be on a cruise. <laughs> but I can't say much because I also was doing that with cookies. I was like walking upstairs <laughs> eating a cookie at the same time. I'm like out of breath trying to swallow pizza. <laughs> <laughs> That's not anyway, good. We're going to the windjammer. Yeah, we're going to the windjammer because um, our Playmaker's yeah. meal was like... Was it apps? It was apps. Um, we downloaded it to our plate. <laughs> um, no, um, it was kind of like in between lunch and dinner, so we're just gonna get like a snack at Windjammer. I guess it's. I guess it is dinner. Yeah. So. But I might not get a lot. The dinner question. Will yeah. Come. Yeah. Don't worry. The question will come now. It's coming. Washi washi. So tonight's Windjammer theme is flavors across the Caribbean. Which, we're not, you know, too crazy about that. No, but we're going to find out what we see. What we're really here for is dessert. Yeah. Desserts are always great here. We got some pie. We did. We each got two pies. What'd you get? Mixed fruit, and then what is this one? Just chocolate? chocolate pie, yeah. yeah. I got the chocolate pie and the key lime pie, which looks really good. Okay, time for the dinner question of the evening. I'm really sorry about how I say this name, but Milagro Jimenez, I'm so sorry, asks, how did you two meet? What's your love story? And I love that question. <laughs> we met, we started dating right before COVID lockdown which I think was good timing because if we didn't meet before lockdown, I feel like that would be really weird. We, we I never would have met yeah. at all. So we met on a dating app called Hinge, so it works. And honestly, I feel like that's the best way to meet people 
in today's day. Yeah, just make sure you use the filters because that's yeah. how I found you know the right person for me. Yeah, you know what's funny is like, so on our first date, um, so Carrie had in her profile that she didn't drink, and then I was like on her first date, I was like, oh yeah, I don't drink either. And you thought like, oh, I was just saying that to like copy you. No, 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 I believed you. And then I texted my mom and my friends that, and they were like, oh, he's just saying that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, that's just a line. <laughs> that's so funny. But yeah, met on Hinge, um, which by the way, I think is the best app. I agree. Went on a few dates and then lockdown happened. And then... And then we locked it down. <laughs> And um, for our first date, you asked me if I wanted to meet your really cute puppy or if I wanted to go to Disney. And <laughs> I chose the puppy over Disney, which is crazy. Wow. Like, and the puppy came with on the date. Yeah. And that's what sealed the deal. <laughs> Where was our first date? It was Starbucks. And Who would have guessed that? Nobody. And what's really funny is I like barely have a drink order at Starbucks. Like I don't really like anything there. And so I was like, yeah, I guess I'll go to Starbucks, whatever. And now, like, I've gone to Starbucks so many times. Because of me. Because of you. <laughs> okay, but our second date was cool. It was really cool. I feel like our second date is really what, like, locked it in. Because that's when we went to Magic Kingdom. And I was just like, wow, I'm here. I live in Orlando. I'm with this amazing guy. And, like, fireworks were going off, literally, and figuratively. <laughs> <laughs> it was just perfect. Here's the thing. Everybody goes for the chocolatey dessert. And like in my family, it's always like order the chocolate dessert. As it should be. But I think like my favorite dessert was the mixed fruit. And I think that I need to learn to be comfortable. Like you don't have to get the chocolate dessert to be happy. And I, just an FYI, I'm also allergic to chocolate. <laughs> but it doesn't stop you. It doesn't stop me, but I do think that part of why I appreciate non-chocolate desserts more is because I am allergic to chocolate. Yeah, and obviously it's not a serious allergy. I will say, so I had the chocolate pie and the key lime pie. The key lime pie was, I think, a lot better. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to branch out. Although this was really good. But I preferred this one. Yeah. It's time to see if we have a Gus. The suspense. Okay, okay. Um, Baby, I didn't even look. Okay, don't look. Don't? Don't, okay, don't even look. All, okay, I haven't seen anything, but we just ran into our stateroom attendant and she was like hyping us up. Like, she was. Like, I left you something good. This is, okay, what you're about to see has never happened before. Is it like multiple? Yes. <laughs> she kind of like hinted that it would be multiple. <laughs> Can I turn around? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. What is this one? Okay, we've never had that. This is the elephant. She's good. Okay, I, I love this person. Leah is... She's good. Yeah. Okay, this is a quality elephant with the... How do they do this part? It stays up. I don't know. They, like, use hairspray or something. Like, this is a sloth, right? No, that's a gorilla. Really? Yeah, this is actually a gorilla. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. But like his face is very sloth like. <laughs> One of our Australian no. friends is gonna be like, sloth, oh, I know a sloth. A sloth has ears, no or I don't know. Ooh, maybe No, that that is a gorilla. It's too small to be a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same size as the elephant. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. No, we're gonna have to in the database this will be known as the gorilla. Slash sloth. No. Oh. Our our lady literally she, she well. Up so because so because we um, obviously we were talking about tall animals as, as you do and she was like she's like oh you guys really like them and we're like yeah and she's like oh well you know day one we don't really do them that often on day one yeah but she was like I'll make sure you get a good one tomorrow morning and I was like yeah. oh my god yeah she's like she's like night she's like night two you, you know we'll, we'll do it for sure she's like and then um, she's like you guys like a lot of them she's like do you want like a jungle in there and we were, and like, we were like yeah <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. And we got our cruise compass. Tomorrow's day three. We're going to be at Nassau. This is interesting. From 7 a.m. to 2.30. I'm surprised about that. Also, it's um, Italian night <gasps> at Windjammer. Shut up. Are we going? I don't know. I love Italian food. <laughs> you love me. <laughs> okay, let's see where we are. We left Coco Key. Why are we going that way? We're heading that way, but we have to go to Nassau. I don't know why we're doing that. Well, that explains the random island we saw. Wait a second, why are we doing that? 
That's okay, I don't know. And here's a live view into the promenade. I think that's interesting. Have we seen that on any other cruise? The oh, the promenade? No, we, well, we saw it on Ovation. They had a view into the Esplanade, which is completely different. Yeah. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Gorilla attack. Coming up in our next video. The ship docks in Nassau, but we stay on board and have fun on the ship. Plus, we reach a cruising milestone.